Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we are making twice baked smashed potatoes, taters. Twice baked smashed taters. That's what I call them. But anyways, kind of basically made with leftovers. It's a really good meal. Well, not really a meal, it's kind of a side dish, but you can have it in a meal, appetizer, whatever you want. It's easy to make, you can bring the kids in on it. Uh, heck, if you're the female cook of the house, woman cook of the house, bring the husband in, make him help you. So, anyways, anybody can make these, so I'm gonna make them, let's get cooking. All right, y'all. Uh, these are actually leftover little uh, the little mini baked potatoes. Uh, I like to use those because they're cute. They're good. They're awesome. Uh, you don't have to use leftover ones. You can buy them and bake them right up, or steam them, or boil them, or however you feel like cooking them. But these were baked. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a fork and just smash them. Hence the twice smash or twice baked smash taters. So just get them smashed out there a little bit. Kind of like that. Now you can do these with leftover mashed potatoes too. I've done it that way. But I kind of like these ones better. Just kind of group them back together. Make you a little patty types deal. Get them to stick together. That's the big trick. You want them kind of evenly smooshed, about a quarter inch, somewhere right about there. Now I'm making two different varieties today. We're going to make uh, bacon cheddar, or bacon cheddar ranch, I'm sorry, and uh, sea salt and black pepper. And this one actually exploded while it was baking, so I don't know why it did that. Maybe it had some moisture in it or something. So, all right. Once you get them smashed, take you a little bit of melted butter. And my butter is not real, really melty, but it's melty enough. Just brush it on there a little bit. This kind of helps make the tater not so dry because I have once uh, did this and did not do this step and they were basically dry so I don't, I don't know about you but I don't like dry taters get back up in there that little piece was trying to escape Butter. It'll be all right. We got her. A little bit more. Give me a little bit. Hey, look at that. We got enough. We had enough. All right. So we're going to start out with the cracked black pepper and sea salt. I'm using coarse brown black pepper. Just sprinkle a little bit on. We'll do a half a dozen of these. Get us a little sea salt. And yes, I'm measuring it out in my hand because that way I can, it doesn't come out of the shaker quite so hard 
and I can adjust exactly how much salt and pepper I have on them. Okay, now we got that. Put our lid back on our pepper. Now we need our provolone. And I just got slices of provolone. And just want to put a little piece on there. turn this one this way and we're going to put a little piece of extra cheese on this one. Alright. Now, for a bacon cheddar. Ranch. I'm going to start out with our ranch seasoning. Just sprinkle a little bit on. Cheddar cheese. If you can tell, I like the bacon cheddar ones a lot better than I do the sea salt and black pepper, but you know, that's just because it has bacon on it. Bacon makes everything better. Alright. You can use the whatever toppings you like. These are ones I just happen to like. They're kind of like uh, the uh, regular twice baked potatoes. Just, these are the smush style. And yes, I'm using the already made up, you know, pre cooked bacon. Cause, just because I like to use that, it's a lot easier. And it's Real bacon, so just gonna top them off here. Get that piece of bacon back in there. Get on there. Like I said, these are these are good for appetizers. You know, if you're having some guests over and just want some kind of little finger food. You know, works really great. And it's kind of unique, so. Right, I need a little bit more. That last one. Uh-oh, we might have poured too much out, and we might have to eat that right away. Oh, no, what are we going to do? If y'all didn't know, that was a joke. Nope, we got just enough. Get that piece back up on there. All right. All right, now we got those all made up. Got my oven set for 350. We're going to bake these for 25 to 30 minutes until everything's melty and gooey. So uh, I'm going to pop these back in the oven. We'll bring you guys back when we get them out. All right, y'all. There we have it. Nice and golden brown. Everything's cooked up nicely. And uh, I use parchment paper, y'all, just to, you know, make my uh, make it a little easier to get them broke loose if, you, if they're not... Uh, that way they're not burning to your cookie sheet. So I just break them loose there a little bit. So, all right. Let these cool down just a little bit. And then uh, we'll come back with our taste test. All right, y'all. Time for the taste test. We're going to start out with the uh, 
cracked black pepper and uh, provolone. Mmm. Mm. Mwah. They get a little crunchy on the bottom and the top. That's awesome. You still got the smushy potato in the middle. So we're gonna we're gonna try the uh, bite of the bacon ranch uh, cheddar. Mm. Those are my favorites. I love those ones. So mm. bacon and the ranch flavor. Yum 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 yum. So all right, y'all. There you have it. Um, make these as a side dish, appetizer, whatever. Um, you can even do a little dipping sauce, put a little sour cream or whatever, maybe a little ranch dressing on them. You know, however you like to eat them. Uh, twice baked smashed potatoes, smushed taters. One of my favorites. So, hope you all liked it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, bear appetite.